All right, looks like we're gonna start this video in my washing room. Anyway, so everybody's been interested in Google, Google Stadia, about their new cloud gaming platform and how Google is going to sustain this kind of momentum or are they even going to support it till the very end? Because one of the things that people ask when they are asked about Google Stadia is that can we keep our physical games or people don't want that loss of control with their physical games where they can just play at any time so we're actually giving Google the control over that end because you know when there's no internet you can't really play games or if you reach your data cap you can't really play any games especially the ones on Google Stadia so those are kind of like the big questions there. But one of the questions I can answer in this video is that, is Google vested in Stadia in the long run? And being as somebody in the IT field, I think Google has their best interest in um, continuing on with Stadia, but uh, not in the gaming community. So Google Stadia can actually expand towards um, apps or shall we say you know applications on that run on Windows or that exclusively run on Mac and we've actually done this thing in a community college when I was very young back in 2009 we actually made something similar to Google Stadia wherein we ran a dumb terminal or we made a dumb terminal run Windows. So, what do you mean, dumb terminal lister? So, essentially, what the computer or the dumb terminal did was connects to the cloud. And the dumb terminal just needed the bare minimum. Well, it just needed to post and connect to the internet. Well, that's pretty bare minimum. So, you, you know, minimum RAM, minimum CPU the main um, component of that dumb terminal was the networking card. So the networking card had to have a specific uh, software inside it that would allow it to connect to the cloud. So, and therefore making it essentially the best way to do Google Stadia. <laughs> but we didn't use our application to run games, although we tried, although we did, but um, our goal was to make this dump terminal connect to the cloud and run an operating system. Even though it didn't meet the minimum requirements, even though it didn't have the hard drive to store any kind of memory or even store an operating system, it just connected to the cloud and it had, voila, it had its own operating system. So. We made this dumb terminal run Windows 7 at the time, Windows Vista, Windows XP. We also made it run Linux. And of course, uh, the popular game at that time was World of Warcraft. So we installed World of Warcraft in one of the Windows machine and played World of Warcraft that way. So, yeah, that is the future of Stadia right there world of warcraft no kidding aside actually google stadia is a very exciting technology because if you see if you look at you know google products so google has their pixel book their um, pixel tablet now they all run on chrome os right and with google stadia they're no longer tethered to you know oh my god i gotta go to my windows machine to play you know a gears of war 5 or gears of war 4 or an xbox so you now have all you really need now is a chrome browser and connect to the cloud and now you can play windows and mac uh, games or maybe xbox and playstation games or you know you know what i'm saying so to expand on that side you can also run applications right adobe adobe has subscription model you can actually 
subscribe to Adobe and you can run what Photoshop well of course there you know there's an app now in the Android store probably or Google Play Store for Adobe creative things but you know Premiere is not on there so you can run Premiere you could run you know all the other Adobe stuff of course there might be some Windows applications you want to run you could also do that uh, Windows can provide a subscription that you can have like a virtual machine or maybe Google can do that you know run a virtual Windows machine which is what we did as well we ran we gave that dumb terminal an image so it would just connect to like the remote computer remote virtual machine and that was his or depending on the uh, username and password he could connect to a Linux machine he could connect to so and so machine you know he Windows 7 Windows XP or right now Windows 10 or if we had the resources we could even made it connect to a Mac probably but we didn't do that so we didn't know the technicalities of it but we made it back in 2009 so it's now 2019 a decade later I'm pretty sure they can do things like that even better so if you're thinking about whether Windows has any interest in continuing with this kind of technology I think so because it is very powerful aside from just being able to play games on any window you can actually play any app on any window heck we might be even able to run you know iOS apps on Google Stadia I don't know if you want to do that but you know that's an option if somebody would have made it you know play better maybe Apple will do a subscription service <laughs> I don't know but um, yeah I'm pretty sure Google has their best interest and if Google has not thought about what I just thought well I'm pretty sure if you share this video like and subscribe it they'll definitely hear about it and be more vested in this kind of technology because we did it back in 2009 pretty sure you guys can do it again or you guys can do it better because you know you're Google right and that's it for this video it's not perfect but um it's the best of what i got <laughs>